Hi, this is a Yesterday's Moose production. This game is Defenders of Light. I'm going to go ahead and explain some of the features of RPG Maker 2 for people who are not familiar with it. With RPG Maker 2, there are two types of menus that you can have in your game. Both of them are optional because you can turn them off. However, in this game, I will be utilizing both. The first option is what I like to call the X menu or the system menu. This menu is activated by pressing the X button. The system menu is a menu that would be normally available in your average RPG. It allows you to talk, check your status, check information on your character, and change the options. You can change the name of these menu options within RPG Maker 2 to make them custom, such as Ability and Action. These menu options have designated commands that will be performed if you select them, such as if you press Talk beside an event which is set to activate by talking to it, you will activate that event. However, if you're in front of that event and select Action, nothing will happen. If an event is set to activate, by selecting the examine command or pressing the triangle button it will activate. In the menu the triangle command is the action command here. This menu also allows you to change your options such as the text speed, whether or not the controller vibrates and various other options like checking your items if your player has any. One of the main reasons I'm keeping this menu in is because of this information option. This allows you to see information on the character that you are currently playing as. And also, most importantly, it allows you to see how long you've been playing the game. Other statistics it shows in this menu, this will represent the total number of lights that you've collected in the entire game. That way it's easy to track them. As you can see, it also shows other information, like whether or not your player has armor, what level they're at, if they have magic. Since Sneakers is the first Defender of Light, his number in the order is 1. If I were another character, that number down there, where it says D-O-L, would be a different number. The information in this menu also allows you to see other things, such as a biography about your character, the abilities that they have, this menu would also allow you to highlight those abilities and have an explanation of what they are. On the last page is what I call the skill power level. This is basically the skill level for your player. Every time you accomplish something significant in the game, such as gaining an ability or defeating a boss, it will be added to your skill level. One star is added for each level of skill power that you achieve, the maximum being eight. The other optional menu that's available with RPG Maker 2 is the Square menu. This menu is activated by pressing the Square button on your controller. The Square button can be assigned to basically whatever script you want. It can allow you to view your map, warp to another area, open up another set of options, or any other commands that you assign to it. If you want, you don't even have to assign anything to it at all. For this game, I've assigned a custom menu. This menu allows you to see various things such as the totals for the various levels in the game, change the camera angle which you are currently viewing the game at, the abilities of the characters that you currently have, warp to another area, view the entire map, turn on and off the retry counter. This counter shows up when you lose. Sometimes you may not want to see this information so you are allowed to turn it off. Of course it's important to include a save feature in your game. Most of the time this is done by going to a specific spot, but for this game I wanted the player to be able to save pretty much anywhere in the game. The only places that you may not be able to save are minigames and bosses and maybe other selected areas. This option down at the bottom is basically just for testing purposes to quickly change the character instead of entering the character select menu. With that information out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and warp to RPG Land. 
I'm using this map as a test level to see if various things work in the game. If this level can work, then basically all of the other levels can be modeled after this one level. At this point, I'm going to let the level pretty much speak for itself. 